Welcome to episode 11 of the tutorial series Live Wire 3 from scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, we are going to look at the search box. We will also make the pagination dynamic. If you haven't watched episode 11, please check it out first, as this episode is more of a build up on the previous episode. We will be using the same component that we created in episode 11 and we will modify the pagination such that it is dynamic so let us first of all create 100 fake users by seeding them what we are going to do we are going to open the folder database and then we are going to seeders database seeder this first line that we usually have most of the times you'll find it's creating 10 users i would like us to put a thousand users so app models user factory a thousand create i'm going to save it and then we are going to run the command that to be able to to put a thousand users in our users model i'm going to run the command php artisan db seed that command you seed for us a thousand users in our database in this case in the users table i want us to go ahead and now look at our um, app livewire all users.php and this is a place where i would like us to do our search so we are going to do the search functionality and we are also going to make the pagination dynamic what i'm going to do is that i'm going to declare two public properties and the first property we are going to call it q for the query so we will be typing in a search box and it can be able to search for us the users with a name that is similar to whatever it is that we would have typed in here but obviously i want us to initially have it just as empty after that i would like us to have another public function which i'm going to call pagination in our previous episode, we had pagination and we were setting them by default and saying five, we want to paginate five users only. Currently, we are using simple paginate. I would like it to remain like that. Of course, you can be able to implement with other types of pagination in a similar way. The next thing I would like us to do is that um, we will be able to render or in other words display the users conditionally so i want us to have an if function here so we are going to have if sorry if and then we have another condition else like that so i want us to check if the user i mean the question in, in this case the query that is being done to search the users has a value so if this q and maybe i want to check the negative so if there is something that has not this one is having null or in other words it doesn't have a value then we are going to just get all the users so what we are going to do here i'm going to have a variable user users sorry and then we will have user the user model simple simple paginate and the page the p in the paginate has to be a capital like that simple paginate and then we will pass in our default pagination so i pass in this pagination like that so basically that will be the first option so if that nothing has been typed in the search box if there's something that has been typed on the search box we are going now to search the values that have been typed in so i'm going to have user where and we are going to search both email and name so where name 
then of course we can have a like and then we will have an operator and concatenate our question so this q in other words query and then still we will uh, concatenate the same operator also towards the end and then of course our pagination has to be similar so simple paginate like that and then of course we will be able to pass in our pagination so this pagination so how many records do you want displayed in us in a single page but yet still i will need to repeat what we have here so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to paste it here so i put an arrow and paste it here and then instead of just having it as where i'm going to have or where so or where email like the search query probably i can be able to move this one a little bit down such that it can be at least visible like that so this is what we are doing i hope i have typed in everything the way it's supposed to be i think I, the way i'm looking at it everything seems to be fine Obviously now when we are returning the users, we will now not do the pagination here. We will just pass in the variable users. And that will be able to handle everything perfectly on our live wire class. Let us go to the page in this case where we are having all users inside live wire inside um, resources views live wire and i want us to open all users above here is where i would like to put our um, our inputs we will be having two inputs of course one for pagination and the other one for q which is the search term that we will be typing in in our search box so I want us to have a div with a class of um, row and then we can have it uh, being like that and then we can align items center like that. I will close this div inside this div I want us to have two divs let me put one of them with a class of a column outer like that and then we will close that div that way and then I'm going to copy this div because we will use it for both this the search input and we will also use it for a select field so inside the first one I want us to have an input with a type of a text I also want it to have wire model uh, Q remember this value we have set it as a property and I would want it to have a class of um, form control I will also want it to have a placeholder maybe I can move this a little bit I want it to have a placeholder and this placeholder I want it to be search users be able to close that div i mean to close that uh, input and 
can be able to close it like that it's really not necessary you can just have it that way and then after that I want us to have our select option select input we will close the select and this select input I want it to have wire model wire full colon model and I want it to be live so dot live and in this case we are going to call it pagination as you can remember there is an input that we have called pagination even this other one I want it to be live so I will also do dot live and when we do dot live is that uh, when we update when we type something in or when we choose something it will directly be triggered on our live wire class and we can be able to work with it like that so wire model live pagination i want it to have a class of uh, form select form select like that and inside here i would like us to have options we are going to have several options the first one we are going to have 10 i want us to have value and inside here we can have a value of 10 like that i want to copy our options several times so i will copy we can have several of them we can have the a value being 20 so we load 20 users then another option can be 50 where we'll be loading 50 users and then the last one we can be able to load a load 100 users in one page like that so when we select this it will be able to directly change our pagination property and then that will be able to trigger changes I think everything seems to be fine here I would like to save I would like to go to our users so I uh, go to localhost 8000 and then type users see what happens now we are able to load the users and currently as you can you can see we have 10 of them I do not know why the the select is not displaying anything so let us see option it's supposed to be option not options supposed to be option singular my guess there's a reason why it's not displaying i will save and then refresh again now you can see if we change this to 50 you can see the number has increased now we're having 50 users if you change this to 20 the number will change and we will have 20 users if you change this to 100 the number will also change and we will have 100 users i would like to add a class to our table to make the table rows a little bit smaller so inside here where we have the table what i'm going to do is to add a class here so class table and then table hyphen small now when i refresh you can see now our user i mean the table is a little bit close up so now i want us to attempt and uh, do a search so i can even search using some of the names that we have here i l i a n a it's saying undefined users yes so if this q is not there then else use yes there's a there's a typo here something that i did in uh, our class is when i saved it as a user not users supposed to be users so I want us to refresh again and check it out. So I want to search via email, whatever it is that we're having here. 
and as you can see we are able to get something similar to that we can be able to delete and uh, then when we click next we are having page 2 we are having page 3 we are having page 4 if we are to search users inside this page again you can see now it is not able to reset our users to the first page because it's supposed to do that when we do the filter I would like to do um, sort of a solution to that I want when we type in the search bar at least our pages can be able to reset to the first page so basically what I'm going to do I'm going to create another function here and what we are going to actually do we are going to use the updated hook so we are going to say public function updated then we can pass which uh, which uh, property we are watching so in this case we are watching the property queue we can just begin by typing the capital letter and then the other letters in that property that we're having but since our property is just one lettered there's nothing else that we'll be able to do so if we have an update on Q or in other words we have typed something I just want us to have this uh, reset page so in, in this case we are going to reset our page to page one so reset page like that I hope I've typed it perfectly okay once we save it and we go and refresh now even if I'm at page 4 if I attempt to type something here now it is resetting to page 1 and I think that is a perfect way to do it I have been able to look at everything that I intended to look at in this episode thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point and that means that this is the end of the tutorial episode please subscribe to my channel and hit the, the notification bell by doing this you'll be notified when i upload another awesome video if you like the video you can give it a thumbs up and you can share it you are welcome to engage in the comment section thank you